Yeah, um, I can do that too. I just, you know, I just don't want to like embarrass anybody, make them feel bad about themselves. Yeah, I don't know if this crowd is ready for the electric slide. I don't know. Whoa. He might be ready for the electric slide. Holy crap. Okay, Mark, this is going to be the last installment of the New York City documentary, and unfortunately it's taking place in Baltimore because Courtney thought her camera was supposed to charge by plugging it into a computer, but it turns out all along it just needed two AA batteries, which she just went to buy. And you can see the video that we're making for you um, is processing in behind me. <coughs> uh, but we're going to catch up after... Uh, where we dropped off yesterday. Um, we ended with our McDonald's meal, and after that we went straight to our... Well, um, you did take a picture with yes, the Marines. I did, but Mark has seen that picture probably on Facebook already. Oh, so here he knows. Uh-huh. Um, but what we did find is when we finally went to the New Amsterdam Theater, which was very pretty inside, very it was beautiful, uh, there was a McDonald's right next door, and we had like done a huge loop instead, so we just made it more difficult for ourselves than it needed to be, which, as usual, as usual. Uh, the play was great, Act 2 was great, or good, um, Act 1, some weird spots in it that Courtney and I didn't really enjoy. Karen was afraid by the statues. The statues came alive and they started wandering around the stage and it was kind of disturbing. It was mostly the bodysuit though that scared Karen. strange. And there were a bunch of them. Some shaped like goats. And <laughs> odd. Uh, so moving on. Afterwards we... <laughs> Sorry, I'm shaking. <laughs> after we went, uh, after the play was over, we decided I wanted to go get a, get a beer. I wanted to try and find a yingling. And, Which you uh, promised was yeah, on every corner was everywhere. in New York. Yeah, everywhere. You lie, Mark. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we went to the ESPN zone, and we totally didn't like it, and there was nowhere to sit. It wouldn't let you sit at a table just and, to order a drink. Yeah, so. people were hooking up a little too much. It was Fleet Week. There was a lot of action going there on. There was a lot of action. <laughs> so we left, and we decided we just went, would go to the hotel bar. And that's what we did, and of course, no yingling there either, or Dr. Pepper. Yes. And then you already know from texts that she did not enjoy her pina colada, pina colada which tasted like all. raw egg, whatever. The snow cone version is much better, let's just say that. <laughs> and so then she got another drink and she got a uh, strawberry margarita uh, daiquiri, daiquiri version. instead. And she drank probably, oh, I don't know, five sips of it. And so after I had had my Coors Light, I went ahead and... A Coors Light? It was a crazy night, Mark. She can't remember what oh, happened. Please, who cares? Not really. Anyway, I was, I was able to go back. She's the one that passed out as soon as we got back in the room. I stayed up packed. And that's a true. Meeting. That's true. That's true. So anyway, so that's all we did when we got back to the room. We but we wanted to find some umbre little umbrellas. We were gonna reenact some Mary Poppins for you. That's it, right. Yeah, and we rehearsed too, and it was really gonna be funny. And they didn't the have bar any. Didn't have any plas or any fake umbrellas for drinks. So yeah. that's all. We couldn't do it. Yeah. And then we had a really funny conversation at um, BEA. BEA was wonderful. So here it is. Um, I was telling her that I was in the autograph line for um, 
Fergie, Corey Doctoro. Yeah. For the, his new one for the win. And right next to his booth, Fergie was signing autographs. And I was like, for real? Fergie? And I said, yeah, Fergie. And I was like, that's pretty amazing that she's even here. And you said, did she write a book? And I said, yeah, she wrote a book. And then all of a sudden I was like... I said, yeah, she, I, you could really... I took a picture, but really all you could see was her red hair. And I was like, really? The Fergie that's like, I want to rock right now. <laughs> and I said, what are you talking about? I was like, I'm talking about Fergie. And I went... Uh -huh. I'm talking about Princess Fergie. And I'm thinking Black Eyed Peas Fergie. And so, I was like, she's so multi-talented. <laughs> so we were not talking about the same person for quite a while this went on. Yeah. But um, we were going to reenact that too, but now we've forgotten the conversation. And so well, we just this is the best we could do. Yeah, it was the best we could do. <laughs> yeah, it's on as funny as like, last night. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so now we're in the Baltimore airport. Yep. We probably oh, have... the Sopran Sopranos actor. Yeah, hold on. It's two... We still have four. We still have two hours here in this airport. Yeah. Uh, in the New York airport, when we were waiting, we met the actor, which I think you've already seen his picture. Mm -hmm. His name little on. His name was Andre De Silva, and he uh, he had a little bit part in Sopranos, which you will you appreciate. Mm -hmm. um, he was very friendly and nice. Very friendly and nice. Karen had a crush on him. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> yes, you did. He, he's cute. He's cute. Yeah, he's very cute. But he made me mad. Oh, he did, because he totally rubbed it in her face that Jersey Boys was great. It was fantastic. There was not one thing not to like about that show. Yep. And then also Chicago was just wonderful, too. Yeah. And that Mary Poppins totally sucked. And so, of course, she's like, well, great. That's what we went to see. Yeah. And so she's still bitter, because you'll see on this video that she won't let that go. <laughs> this is just about as bad as the Statue of Liberty ticket purchase that we ranted yeah, about the other day. We just transferred We just transferred. Anger. Yeah, so. And then that's about it. We got on the plane. Yeah, it's not... Yeah, we're, we're pretty Today's much, pretty lame. No more excitement. Yeah. Mark, this is it. I'm reading uh, Oedipus the King. Karen, what are you working I'm on? I'm doing this. I'm working on the video, and I'm going to start reading Rot and Ruin, yep. which I got at uh, the A. I was waiting for. It's another zombie book. So it's going to be better than flu, I can already tell. Okay. So that's it. That's it. See ya. Bye. Bye.